Hey, what's up? Six Tayo here. Today I'm going to be showing you T-Mobile's newly released LTE, comparing it to 1900 MHZ HSPA Plus 4G. Uh, this is an original release day iPhone 5, 64 gig. It's my factory unlocked AT&T iPhone, and uh, this one does not have AWS support, so I do not get 4G coverage everywhere. Uh, but I do have a, another 64 gig iPhone. I just don't use it uh, because this one's jailbroken. That one's on iOS 7. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is comparing LTE to 4G. But um, 4G on 1900 MHC is actually kind of slow compared to regular. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three speed tests uh, three on LTE and three on 1900 MHC 4G. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you that this is not a T Mobile iPhone, real quick. And uh, regardless of what any T Mobile rep tells you, uh, you do not need a T-Mobile iPhone in order to actually get, uh, you know, LTE. But, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and show you the last four of my serial number. F38W. That tells you that it is not a T-Mobile one. A T-Mobile iPhone will always have the serial number end with, uh, with four digits being FH something. Uh, like, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you a picture I took of the other one. So if you look right here, if you can see it, I don't know if this will let me focus enough. Maybe, maybe not. FH1G. That one will select, or will use, uh, HSPA plus, uh, on the AWS frequencies. So, yeah, that's how you can tell the difference between T-Mobile and a original AT&T iPhone. Then again, you can always warranty an AT&T original iPhone out and get a factory unlocked or a AWS compatible one. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, speed test. Actually, let's make sure all my shit is uh, not active. Get rid of all those. And we're going to go ahead and do a speed test. Focusing on the camera. And let's go. Now, the exact location I'm at is I'm right near Target on uh, Antelope Drive, where uh, both AW, no, not AWS, uh, 1900 MHZ and uh, LT have full signal bars. And woo, sick. That's the fastest I've seen so far. But uh, people around Weber State have actually reported around 30 megabits per second, so that's actually pretty impressive. Not bad. 26 and a half down and 8.44 up. Let's do another one. See how consistent that is. Consistent, um, it's been between like 20 and 25 in a full bar area. So it looks like it gets up to 26. So if I'm like streaming a movie or downloading a movie from Movie Box, uh, I shouldn't really see too much lag. It should actually go pretty quick. So that time, a little bit less down, but not by much. So nothing really noticeable. 26.39 down and 8.75 up. Now, the only reason why I have not uh, actually warranted my iPhone out uh, for an AWS compatible one is because, one, uh, this one's jailbroken on 6.1.2. And to me, that's, oh, ooh, sick. <laughs> 27 out, or down. What is it? Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Um, this one is on 6.1.2, and uh, I'm actually going to screenshot that. That's the fastest I've seen in Layton, so that is sick. But anyway, um, I haven't warranted this out because it's on 6.1.2. It's jailbroken. I have it exactly set up the exact way I want it to be. And, uh, you know, plus it's also red, so, you know, can't really do a whole lot with red iPhone. I could put it back to stock white and silver, but this is just too sexy. I, I like it like this. And uh, I'm good with this. There's LTE and Layton, so I'm good. Let's go ahead and turn LTE off. Should pop up with 4G in a few seconds. There's 4G. Let's go ahead and make sure all my apps are clear. Let's just clear the speed test app. We're going to do 4G on 1900 MHZ. 
Let's go ahead and see what tower connected to, by the way. And that is blurry as shit. Let's go ahead and focus that. That shit. So what this tells me is I'm connected right over there. Uh, that is so right down the road in Hillfield. Which for some reason, if I'm at the mall, which is where I work, right here, it's right there, um, I don't get good, that good coverage. But then again, nobody gets good coverage in the mall. Mostly because of, uh, what is it? Simply Mac, only get 2G there, and then uh store right next to my store. So, yeah, uh, coverage sucks there. But that's what tower I'm connected to. But uh, that signal app does not work for LTE for some reason. I wish that was updated because that would tell me a lot. So full bars on uh, HSP plus 1900 MHC. Let's test it. I have seen speeds of like up to 14 megabits per second, but that's about as fast as it, I've ever seen it before. Maybe it's updated. Maybe not. I actually have. Uh, I actually put this back to the stock carrier bundle uh, because I thought that was uh, ruining my uh, LTE service. But really, when I got a LT for the first time, um, it wasn't working because the stock carrier update and the little uh, stock carrier update had nothing to do with it. It was mostly, um, what was it, a stupid carrier profile that Apple put out that you enter in uh, Safari and you enter a carrier profile, it adds the shit for you rather than the stock carrier update that you get through uh, the about screen. That was disabling my data altogether on HSPA plus 4G and uh, LTE. So if you have that and you're not uh, you're not getting your LTE working or something like that, that's probably the reason why. So because all I did was just remove the profile, just went to settings general, then scroll down to profiles, deleted the profile, it was gone, it was all good. So it looked like I had a little sprint moment right there because I had nothing. 10.10. 10. Hmm. 10 out of 10. Not bad for 1900, that is. Upload speeds, if it's 2 or 3 megabits per second, I'm just fine with that because that is sick. From what it used to be, from what I've seen in on uh, most shits before. This video is going to be 8 minutes. Maybe 9. I don't know. So it's getting progressively fat. No, it's not. I went back down. Never mind. It's about the same. So it looks like a consistent 9 and 10, and a consistent 3 point something average. So not too bad. Um, but still, that's, that's half the speed of, well, a little bit less than half than the average speed of LT in this area. So I'd say that's close to night and day difference. Just for shits and giggles, let's just go ahead and see, uh, let's just go ahead and look at Edge. <laughs> you know, the extremely slow network that we all know and love, Edge. Let's see. Actually, I don't even know if I can get Edge on this anymore. Unless I'm in a not 1900 area. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so that is, uh, I'm going to turn LT back on. Because I like LT. LT is my friend. No! <laughs> oh, well, it'll come back in a minute. But anyway, that is uh, LT compared to 1900 MHz 4G on a AT&T non-AWS factor unlocked iPhone 5, jailbroken on 6.1.2. I did actually install, reinstall the hacked carrier update. Uh, just because it was, oh, see, there it goes. Just because it didn't really mess with anything. Didn't really make a change, but it, it's set to double speeds on, you know, 4G and stuff like that. So I just put it back on there. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier. But anyway, I uh, hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions at all about, um, you know, anything with uh, T-Mobile or something like that, I'll just go ahead and, go ahead and uh, show you my APN settings real quick. When you do the stock carrier update, uh, two things, well, actually, yeah, two things will get deleted. MMS proxy, which is this right here, and MMS UA prof URL, which is this right here. Those are needed 
for picture messaging. Now, um, some people have gotten their T-Mobile iPhones from the corporate uh, kiosk right next to my work, and they have not been able to send a text or receive a text or something like that. And then I, I just threw that on there, and then it worked. Also, your LTE setup optional. You just want to uh, copy and paste this, just like so. Select all. Yeah, do it. Copy, and then go down here and select all, and then uh, paste. And then you'll be able to do LT just fine. Anyway, again, if this video helped you out at all, come rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 6 zero. If you have any questions at all about anything that's to do with anything about repairing uh, or network data or you know where to get parts like this and stuff like that, or the same case I'm using, just let me know and I will hook you up. I will help you out and I don't mind. Okay, see ya.